Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. And thank you for joining me today again. Uh, but before we go, for those who are still new here, uh, please help me by pushing the subscribe button so that you will be notified each time I'm, I uploaded new video. Okay? So we will look at this one, resultant 3D for particle. Okay? Before we calculate the uh, resultant of forces acting on a particle in three dimension, First, we'll, I would like to introduce first uh, what we call by forces in three dimension. Before that, we go to, let's say we have uh, this axis. Normal axis that we have found in previous chapter, which is Y and this is, this is X. For example, this one. Okay. And if I have one force, this is, let's say this one, this is a force. Okay. This is the direction. So if I'm taking this force, this force is only acting on this point. That's it. Okay. So if I have this force acting on on an axis, okay, we call it as a one D force. So this is one D, one dimensional force, because it is a, a force that acting on a on an axis. Okay. Same as this one, we have uh, one force there. Okay, which acting on y axis, so this is a 1D, 1D force. But if this force is like this one, right? for example. Okay, so like this one, it is actually acting on a plane XY. So we call it a 2D force for this one. Okay, but if, let's say I'm moving this force to put in this direction, now the force is become three dimension okay because it involves x y plane and also the z direction so this force is three dimensional force okay so there's a difference between 1d 2d and 3d force okay so to better imagine the 3d force that we have uh, this axis we have Y and Z axis. Okay. Now we have three axis, which is X, Y, and Z. In previous chapter, we are only take, talking about this plane, which is plane X and Y. Okay. Only on this plane, for example, in this, this surface, we, we, the the force is not on on three dimension. Now we are taking talking about the third axis, which is Z. Now we will have a three dimensional force. Okay. The force might be, some of the force might be in just 1D force, but it will be putting in three-dimensional uh, axis. So you have to name it correctly so that it will become a three-dimensional uh, type of forces in, in 3D plane. Okay, so let me draw to better illustrate this one. Let me draw a 3D box so that you will, uh, be, you will better understand this one. So let's say we have this 3D box. So if I'm holding this one, oh, like this, and then you will have this uh, three-dimensional box. So that I will use this box to explain to you, okay, so that you can visualize uh, clearly what is mean by three dimension. So we have here, like in the previous uh, uh, figure, we we'll have this is by this is y axis x axis and the other one will be your your z axis okay so i will use this one later on so that you can explain uh, to, to explain to you what is mean by the three dimensional forces okay so i'll put it here we'll continue uh, on the next chapter which is resultant resultant 3d what what do you say oh you think that i'm using the same black shirt every time it's kind of boring. Okay, so what about this one? How about this one? No? It is too red for you? Okay, I'll change. Maybe this one. Is it okay, this one? Okay. So what about this? 
Is it okay? What is it nice? What? What else? The hat? Oh, you don't like this one? Uh, what about this? Not this one? Okay. What about this one? No? Okay. Uh, what else do I get? Maybe this. This one's okay? Oh, you like this one. Okay, nice. Nice. What? What do you say? Again? Oh, my, my what? Oh, you don't like my face. You don't like my face. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe. Okay. Is it okay now? Yeah? Okay? You satisfied with this one? Okay? If it's okay, we can continue with our lesson. Is it okay? Yes, now we continue. Okay, so the first one we will look at uh, what we call it as 1D force in 3D. 1D force in 3D plane. So, for example, here, if I have this meaning that, uh, let's say we have this one. Okay, so the 3D force in 1D force in 3D plane, meaning that we have one force. For example, this one we have Z, Y, and X direction. So if it is a 1D force, so this is the forces, so this one will be positive Z, positive X, and positive Y, and the opposite direction will be the negative direction of X, Z, and Y. So the 1D force in 3D plane means that we have force in the axis. So this is a 1D force, okay? 1D and 1D. One force, they acting on a, only on an axis. If the X, Y, O, X, Y or Z direction. Okay? So let's say I'm drawing these forces here. Put it this way. So I have F1 equal to 100 Newton. And then I have here F2 20 Newton. Let's see opposite direction here. F3 equal to 30 Newton. And then F4 equal to 10 Newton. This F5 equal to 3 Newton. F6 equal to 50. 50, no. Equal to 50 Newton. Okay? So, let's say this, this uh, uh, condition where we have 6 forces. Okay? And all these forces acting only on a uh, axis X, Y, and Z. So it is a six one dimensional force. Okay? Six one dimensional one dimensional force. Okay, so before I, I continue with this, for a 3D force, 3D plane, what we will do is so we have here Y, X, and Z. Okay? All forces that goes through x axis, we will name it as force I. All that goes to y axis will be named as J, and all in z direction will be K. Okay? So later on, we will not, we will have to, what we have to do is we will name all the forces in terms of I, J, K. So we have to name it as. Let's say, for example, F1, F1, what? F1I or F1J of F1K. So we need to name that forces into I, J, K uh, so that we can identify directly from this name I, J, K which direction it goes. Okay, which direction? X, Y or Z or positive or negative. So we we'll use this notation. Okay, so to name the 1D force in 3D plane, we we'll do is okay, we we'll use i j k and remember this positive x positive y and positive z other direction will be negative so the f1 equal to in this case 100 newton 100 newton i this is how we how we name it 100 newton i and let's say we have f where is f2 f2 equal to 20 newton 20 newton j okay f3 
it is in z direction but opposite direction from positive z so it will be negative 30 newton k okay uh, for this one negative 10 newton j okay at 5 equal to F5 is in Z direction, so equal to 3 Newton K and F6 negative direction of X, so equal to negative 50 Newton I. Okay, so this is how we name the one dimensional force in 3D plane. Okay, so because what we'll do is that we'll go to 2D force and 3D force. All this 2D and 3D force, we will resolve into X and Y and Z and we name it according to this one so that it is easier for us to maybe to uh, make a sum, okay, to add together in I direction, in what J direction and also in K direction, okay. So we, we have, in this chapter what we have to do is to all to resolve the forces into I, J and K, okay. That's the, for the first one, 1D force in 3D, 3D plane.